So this is my video about um, walking sticks, but also something else. So on the left you see also a regular umbrella, which is quite sturdy and quite a big one, but still is a lot weaker than the next uh, umbrella. This is more of a umbrella that we use for a wedding, so very robust. And next to it is, they call it an unbreakable umbrella. So this one is even more robust, stronger tip, and they have a different uh, approach. They have a polypropylene shaft instead of the steel ones of the other ones. Next to it is a very lightweight, uh, adjustable walking stick. So it's aluminium, but very light, and you can adjust it to fit a very small size, almost like this. So to store it, for example, next to it, it's a walking stick of light aluminium, the orange one, orange red one, and it carries some survival items like a, a compass, a window breaker on the that tip, tip here, and it has a, a pointy bit, so the the knob that hits the ground is more for a rough terrain, so it's quite pointy. Also, it could carry a saw or something like that. Next to it, you see the same principle, but then more robust aluminium, far thicker, far heavier, without all the added functionality, such as a compass and all the other stuff. Next to it, you see more of a shepherd-like walking stick. Better is also examining it here, with a hook in it. Another hook design you see next to it, it's just more of a old X-inspired uh, design. Both are completely plastic. And next to it you see a full aluminium walking stick, so a very elegant type of walking stick. And next to that you see a, com uh, yeah, a steel tube with a narrow, uh, small diameter uh, layer, and it has some... Uh, uh, limited prying ability so there's a very small pry bar at the top that you can also take out next to it you see an, uh, some uh, cold steel so these two are also uh, cs so you see here um, the walkabout so simple walking stick and next to it's african walking stick and on the end you see something completely different than a walking stick this is a they call this a fitness mace belt thing, so it's far too heavy, 4 kilograms, but it could be used for training, for example. You see it here, and also the other walking sticks could also double up as training tools, of course. So just get some cardiovascular exercise, but also some strength and fitness and flexibility. Of course, the main theme is, except the mace bell here, which is a fitness tool, all these other uh, tools could be used as a walking stick to a degree. Of course, if you use the umbrella, you have uh, the drawback that you, it will bend over all the force that you could exert on it, but the light work could help. It could still hold up. The same will be with this uh, collapsible walking stick. If you are too heavy, you will have troubles with it. This uh, umbrella here, could be the best of both worlds. So it could give you some cover against rain, but could also double up as a walking stick. The benefit of the straighter edge is that you can see here is that you can also uh, use it a little bit to lean on. For example, if you want to sit, but there's nowhere to sit on, those could help, of course, as well. Now I will show you some of the features of the, each individual stick or the likes. Let's start with the mace bell. In particular this African walking stick, as you can see here, it also has a flat area and as you can see it can also stand on its own, quite in balance, like the other uh, CS product as well. But even if you want to, you could place it, if you balance it out, probably on the top, if the dog stays away from it. But either way, um, so you have a walking stick, quite sturdy, also you have good room to hold it, uh, if you want to um, use it in a different way, for example to push something away, it won't slip uh, that easily. Also it has, uh, here it says, African walking stick, and also has a nice uh, non-slip uh, foot on it. 
Of course, you can always saw this. This is just polypropylene plastic. So if you are a little bit uh, shorter, you can uh, saw it off. It has a similar design as the walkabout. It is the walkabout as you can see here depicted. Walking stick, but this is um, also polypropylene. So the benefit of polypropylene is that it doesn't rot, it doesn't bend, it is quite sturdy. But this is a more simple design. For a pure walking stick, I think this is a better one for most people. Why? Because uh, the knob on top is not as extremely big as the other knob is. The African walking stick is a little bit shorter, but also the knob is a lot uh, bigger. So it uh, takes a little bit more toll of your hand. But I must say that even this with all those uh, little points is still quite comfortable to the hand, but this one is a bit better. Another benefit is that uh, it is a little bit uh, longer and also if you want to slide it, especially with the fitness tool, this could prove some uh, beneficial uh, properties because you can easier slide than with all the resistance you get from the African walking stick of course. But this also gives more grip, so it depends on what you want. And with a small uh, steel tube walking stick, it has a little bit of a um, pry bar head as you can see here. And the benefit is that even though it's a very small pry bar, because of the leverage you can gener generate with this um, steel tube, you will of course ruin the steel tube, but if needed you can pry a little bit better than with yeah, just a small amount of pry bar that's in there. It also has a PVC pipe in it so that it doesn't shake, as you can hear. So it's very nice uh, detailed and this is just a little bit of bend because of course it's not nice and it's cool that you have direct contact with steel. This is also very heavy. Uh, this is the heaviest walking stick as compared to all the others, except this one which is not a walking stick. This uh, might be the second heaviest. This is a, yeah, just a more of a show of gentleman type of uh, walking stick. Very elegant uh, tip, as you can see, and then it uh, tapers up a little bit. Also very nice uh, work on the handle. The benefit for such a design is that you can, um, the other one you had to hold as a knob, huh? but this you can eat like more of a pistol grip. So it's easier for the hand, you have some more positions you can position it in. And also the benefit is you can lean on top of it if needed. So that's a benefit that you will also see with some of the other uh, walking sticks of similar design. For example, this one, also CS series uh, walking sticks. As you can see, they try to resemble a little bit of the axe head. In the past also, they had walking sticks with, a with real axes on top of them. So if needed, they could chop a little bit. But this is of course completely blunt but it still has some of the benefits. Also this is not a sharp, a Q-tip. Very nice design. It also resembles it a little bit more of an X handle. So it's more of an elliptical uh, shape, so to say. It is even better to lean upon because you have more surface and more flatter area, especially because this side is also elongated a little bit. I really like uh, how this feels in the hand. It's like a little bit of a hammer or an X handle. This is more of a traditional uh, traditional shepherd like, like of stick, so it has more of a curl instead of a flattened area. The flattened area I like a little bit more because this uh, has some drawbacks in how it feels. You will slip a little bit to these sides, whereas if this is more flattened out, this will help a lot. The benefit, however, of this one is it's very elegant, as you can see, it's everywhere as, a, as the same width. Also the benefit that you have a little bit of a hook if you need to, for example, climb and you have to pull somewhere from a branch or something. You have quite a, a good chance that this will stick if needed. Also a little bit of additional grip here, a little bit of additional grip here on the tip and also again here which I like a lot. Also this one can be made to the size that you want. This is from the United series. 
Also a very nice, light, good walking stick. And we go again to uh, uh, aluminium. This one is uh, a hollow design, so you can just screw it off if you need it to, to be short or longer, which is nice. You have a little bit of concentration tip here, if needed, where you can um, break, for example, window. But this is just a sturdy stick and also very good to lean upon because you have the flat area again. And this is also a nice knob keeping in the hand. The survival situation, if you don't need shelter, well, otherwise I told you, I think the umbrella could be better. This could be a very nice one. It has some tools, like for example the, the compass here, also the window break at the other side. And you can screw it open and then you will find, for example, a saw. So if you need to saw something. Also, it's lighter still than this one. But the tip is not good for urban environment because it's far too pointy. It's more of an off-road type of walking stick. It could be very good. Also, you see here a little bit of uh, damage to the paint. You see the aluminium coming through. So that's what it is. But a very nice uh, walking stick. It's also easy. And you can collapse it in smaller parts and take it into a backpack if needed. You hear the saw, I think. And this walking stick this is perfect if you need a, a walking stick for a situation that you, uh, you don't know if you need it just for light work. Also very easy to collapse, which is weighing uh, almost nothing. This is by far the lightest walking stick and as I told you, very easy to put to a different size as you can see here for example just with this knob but you can also collapse it to a extremely small size so as i will show you here so it can be collapsed to about half the size that it originally had and then you can just get it back to the size that you need also for example if you take this with you if you have an injury, you can still lean upon it, but also use it for your children because you can easily make it to any um, size that you need. But this is just your.